It's finally here. The 2023 state softball tournament has arrived in Helena. Hayes Bartruff and Ryan Berg got you covered for day one of the class AA state softball tournament. Yeah, and their journey is with one goal to win the state championship. But that's enough from us. Here's a look at what you might have missed in the first round of the quarterfinal games. After winning their game in round one, Great Falls CMR is set to take on the top seed out of the East, the Billing West Lady Bears. CMR senior Bree Gennady on the mound for the Rustlers, but sophomore Miel Cavern was not afraid as she crushes one over the left field fence to put her squad up 3-0 in the bottom of the third inning. However, Gennady would redeem herself, striking out West's fellow senior, Laney Fuller, to get her team out of the inning without too much damage done. Billing's starting pitcher Camden Susat on the plate for the Lady Bears, but CMR's shortstop Jenna Etchberry making plays for the Rustlers, throwing out Susat at first base. In the fifth inning, it was Susat's turn for redemption as she belts a three-run shot into the parking lot to make it 7-0 Billings West. Great Falls CMR would get one across the plate, but ultimately falls to Billings West as the Lady Bears win 11-1 and are heading to the semis tomorrow to face the number two seed out of the West, the Helena High Bengals. The Helena High School Bengals faced off against the Great Falls High School Bison. It started off slow with the scoreless first inning, but Brooke Richardson changed that quickly with a solo home run shot putting the Bengals on the board. But Great Falls didn't go down without a fight, especially with this defensive play from Danny Singer and this at bat that squeezes through the gap for Alex Bloomgren. And I cannot forget to mention this rocket into center field by Ella Galloway, which goes over the defender's head and hits the fence, which gives her enough time to sneak to second, sliding in safely. It was a defensive battle for a while with the score staying put at 1-0. Up until the late fifth inning, the bats started to finally get hot for Helena High, especially for Ashley Koning, who hit a double with bases loaded, bringing in three of her teammates to the plate, making it 5-0. The Bengals were able to continue to build the lead and ended with the final score of 7-0. After a brief rain delay, Missoula Big Sky hit the field again to try and battle back versus the top-seeded Kalispell Glacier Wolfpack. Ella Farrell had quite the outing, striking out another Big Sky batter to add to her 11 total Ks on the day, Wolfpack still leading late in the third. Big Sky would eventually get out of the inning after Glacier's right fielder, Emma Cook, pops out to center fielder for the Eagles sophomore, Kyler Latriel. We already know that she can pitch, but Ella Farrell is also making plays out on the field for her team as she easily catches this infield pop-up to end the inning. Wolfpack sophomore Nakaya Persinger hits this line drive down the third baseline, getting through two Big Sky defenders on her way to an RBI double. And Kalispell Glacier would go on to win 7-0 after a one-hitter by Glacier's Ella Farrell. We'll move on in the winner's bracket to play Missoula Sentinel tomorrow at 1 p.m. The third West seeded Missoula Sentinel Spartans faced off against the East's second seed, the Billings Senior Broncos, and the rain was no shy guest. Someone else who wasn't shy was Jaden Gagner for the Spartans. This double into the outfield was one of her three hits, ending with three RBIs. With the Spartans taking a commanding lead, the Broncos continued to fight back, especially Riley Tryon, who was able to sneak in this double over the defender's head, bringing in a runner for an RBI. Maddie Ban also tried to rally the Broncos with this blooper into the outfield, getting a double and moving her teammate to third. But despite their efforts, the Spartans found their groove late in the game, just like Emma Rise with this home run. The Spartans ended up winning with a final of 17-3. Tons of talent on display here today in Class AA with the winners moving on. And we'll have all that action tomorrow with full coverage always available on MontanaSports.com. With MTN Sports, I'm Hayes Bartra. And I'm Ryan Berg.